Hey everybody, it's Liz the Official Craft Nerd and welcome to my channel. Okay you guys, I am extremely excited about today's video. This is going to be a really fun collaboration with a group of wonderful, creative and talented ladies that I will talk about here in just a bit. But this challenge was basically to craft your own stash, which you guys, if you're a lot like me, you know you got a whole bunch of stuff that's just been sitting around. You've been wanting to do something with it, but you haven't gotten around to it. Well, now is the time. So I am using a couple of pieces that I've had sitting in my stash for quite a bit that I've picked up at Dollar Tree. Uh, obviously, you can probably tell just by those little crates. Everybody has seen those crates. Uh, those signs are kind of new. Uh, I don't know how new, but hey, I have that sitting in my stash. So we're going to create something with these things. As you can tell, I'm giving all of my items a coat of white paint and then I'm going to use this really awesome paint by Vintage Market. It is in the color French. It is a very thin chalk paint, so there are many layers that are going to be added into this. But before I get into anything else, let me talk a little bit about this crea creative explosion of a collaboration. All of these beautiful ladies here are a part of this and there is going to be a playlist that you can follow through and check out everybody's awesome, wonderful videos. I, I'm super excited to see everybody's items and what, they, what their stash has and what they're gonna create. So I definitely want you guys to make sure check them all out please please check them all out it is going to be so much fun and and you guys know if you've been following me for some time it's been a minute since i have been able to do any kind of collaborations with anybody so i'm so excited to be working with my friends again oh it is so much fun so anyway back to these items as you can tell this paint i am in love with this color now as I stated, it is a thinner paint. So even stirred up, even, you know, giving a little bit of air to it is basically what I say when I keep the lid off of it for just a little bit, it still is pretty thin. So I do add a couple of layers. Once that's done and it's dry, I'm going to just kind of hit it a little bit with my sanding block, rough it up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna take some wood glue and I'm gonna just go ahead with the wood glue and some hot glue just to help secure that hold and place one of these crates on the bottom of this sign. If you haven't kind of guessed already, I am kind of going for a very spring floral planter type decor piece that you could put on, you know, your fireplace or on a bookshelf or, you know, wherever you want to put it, honestly. Um, mine will probably end up in my bathroom because <laughs> that's where I like to put a lot of pretty things uh, is in the bathroom. Um, but this is just a super easy, quick, fun little project to do and super, super affordable. So as you can see, I'm going ahead and taking the second crate now. We're going to glue it and secure it just a little ways up. I didn't really measure it, just kind of eyeballed it uh, just so I can tell that I have enough room to put some flowers in the bottom as well as in the top. So this point, I'm going ahead and it, just doing a real quick white coat on the inside of this. Now, you know, in hindsight, I probably should have did that before I glued these on there, but I wasn't really thinking about it at the time. So that's fine. Do it after. No big deal. Who cares? Move along. Now I am taking some of these rub on transfers. This is something I've had quite a bit in my stash uh, from Dollar Tree because these particular rub on transfers from Dollar Tree are my favorite. They look like they'd probably be really cheap because they're on that brown, you know, tight parchment paper. But you guys, they go on so smooth. There's no issues whatsoever. Super, super easy to transfer over. I absolutely love them. So anytime I see any kind of transfers that Dollar Tree has on that brown parchment like paper, I scoop them up. So as you can tell, I'm just kind of holding it down. You can tape it down if it's easier for you, if you're worried that it's going to be uneven, whatever. Me, I'm just freehanding it, you know, slapping it on there. I don't care. It's going to look good. It's, it's adorable. After I have both the top and the bottom, which my camera angle kind of sucks here, so you didn't really get to see me putting it on the bottom. Uh, but once that was on there, I'm going to take some white paint and I'm just going to de-stress the edges with that paint. Um, and this is just to give it a little bit of extra pop. I definitely really, I, I can't explain it enough. 
love this purple color but I felt the white was going to give it that extra oomph that it needed so just going around the edges just like that kind of you know if you were think about if you were aging something or if you were going to give it kind of an antique -y look instead of actually using anything that like I normally use for that purpose like antiquing wax and whatnot we're just going to use white paint just give it a little extra zhuzh so to speak so you know what I'm talking about you guys I'm not going to sit here and bore you with that um, but what I'm going to show you next is going into just going ahead and putting your flowers in there I actually just again dug into my stash pile <laughs> looking for anything I could to basically help me with this part of it which is putting you know my florals in there and I lo and behold had some extra styrofoam balls if you have a box cutter or a knife even it would be <laughs> these cut in half so much easier than me using my little scissors so please don't laugh at me it was all I had at the time uh, I'm gonna glue these down right in the middle um, of each of my uh, little uh, my mind just blanked what are they called my little um, <laughs> crates <laughs> you guys oh it has been such a long day uh, so I'm putting my gluing my styrofoam balls down into my crates and from there I have a secure base to put and stick in my florals now I'm using this uh, I believe this was like eucalyptus and I'm pretty sure I picked this up at Michael's like forever ago I just thought it was really super pretty very spring like and definitely um, something that I felt went really well with this color on these crates and this this um, planter that I've created uh, so as you can tell I'm just kind of cutting the little branches off and sticking them on in there and that is pretty much all she wrote on this project I'm gonna go ahead and hush up right now <laughs> so you can watch and see the final uh, reveal of this particular piece and then we will jump into the next project Okay, so for this second project, I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of picture frames just lying around in my stash. Not sure why I would, I, I don't have any idea why I collect so many, but I guess it's just because I know that there's going to be some point in time I'm going to flip it. So with that being said, I'm going to use this particular frame. I sanded down the wood and now I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick paint job. Now I am using Elephant by Waverly. Uh, it is a really nice deep gray chalk paint 
and uh, we're going to go ahead and just give a coat around the frame um, all the way around the edges and then of course that wooden heart that you see over there I'm going to color that the same gray as well um, I like this frame only because it has that kind of um, almost like a burlap background there um, and we're not actually going to put a picture in this you guys but you'll see where we're heading <laughs> with it once we get to that um, as you can tell I'm giving it two coats here um, because at first I thought it was a little too dark but again with the chalk paint and something that I've learned and have been told uh, by many of you um, a lot of times the older the paints get you know you definitely have to make sure you're stirring it up pretty <laughs> pretty well um, which I normally do especially with Waverly it's pretty easy um, to stir it up because it, it separates you know it's chalk paint so um, but in any case I gave it a couple coats no big deal easy peasy we're gonna go ahead and do this hard here as well um, and I just I really like this color I think this is a very um, Oh, for lack of a better word sexy gray <laughs> I love this color um, it, it's not something that I typically use um, a lot of my uh, decor that I do is shabby chic so it's very light colors you know pinks and pastels and whatnot but hey I had a plan for this gray what I'm using now is this really great product that is basically a crackle paste um, I will definitely try my hardest to put in the description the items that I'm using these particular things like the vintage paint that I used in the last um, project in this crackle is something I've picked up at a local antique mall so I'm fairly certain you can find this online um, but I'll have to look more into that this is something that you put on a nice good layer on any part of your item that you're you're wanting to have this effect on uh, and you let it dry for two hours then you're gonna come back and paint over it with whatever color you like and what it will do immediately is start to crack and so whatever uh, base color paint that you had below the crackle and then that is gonna crack through that's what you're gonna see um, coming up through your crackle paint of the second layer that you add so this is something that you know you see me painting it on here now but when I get into the next part it just remember it has been two hours I have let this dry um, so that it can do its thing okay so now we're going to add this white paint i'm just adding plaster by waverly and one of my favorite colors and just watch how quickly this happens you can already see it starting to crackle up at the bottom it is one of the coolest products and i and i've used some other there's different um different types of crackle paints out there i mean you don't have to use the exact same one I'm using you guys if you have some already on hand try it out I know that there's tons of different crackles out there but this one I kind of am obsessed with because of how fast and um, how easy it is to use uh, so as you can see it's already given me that aged crackled just very vintage effect that I absolutely love and adore um, I'm just kind of getting in there <laughs> and getting all my edges and everything uh, coated with this white paint and I really love the contrast with the white and the gray I think it gives it a lot more depth um, but I think it would also be very pretty with any other color pinks um, that that beautiful uh, purple or lilac color um, that I used before would be wonderful as well just play with it do what you liked you know test it see what you like to you know what colors go with your decor however um, but yeah I I'm just kind of obsessed with this I feel like I could put this on everything and anything but then <laughs> my husband's probably gonna be like why does everything look like it's cracked and falling apart <sighs> it's it's just a style you know <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you uh, I'm painting the heart as well because remember we did put the crackle on there too and it is going to give it a really cool texture and look and I am again I can't say it enough I'm honestly obsessed 
So once this is dry, we are just going to easy peasy glue this heart right in the center of my frame. Instantly, we have a really quick and easy decor piece that you can just pop up and I think it looks super pretty. But it wouldn't be me and it wouldn't be shabby chic uh, if I don't add some extra to it. So as you can see, I'm kind of just playing around with all my little ribbons and doodads and things that I've had forever, scraps from other projects. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and create a real pretty simple little bow that is just going to add that extra sweetness to this piece. And you guys, this is something that I've had in my stash forever and it took me not long at all to do and it's just adorable. I'm, I love it, I love it. Now, I'm gonna stop talking so much about this, but I, I did wanna kinda just jump in and say thank you so much for all of my subscribers, my friends, my nerdy family that have been with me on this journey. We are almost to 10K. I am so excited. I would have never, ever believed that that would have been possible a couple years ago, and here we are, almost there. So, you guys have been wonderful to me. Um, super supportive and appreciating my time and and and, and my mental health <laughs> to uh, you know take some time off and you know spend time with my family and not be so focused on the channel but this year is different this year I want to get back out there I really want to be able to create for you guys and make new friends and just be inspired over and over again so and I'm hoping that I am inspiring you guys. So if you're new to my channel, please say hi, leave me a comment. Um, of course, I really hope you guys hit the subscribe button, you know, hit the notification bell, all of that wonderful YouTube jazz that we have to put out in every video, you guys, but we really truly mean it. I truly mean it. I wouldn't be able to do this channel if it wasn't for you guys uh, and your support. And I love you all for it. So. Thank you. And I know there's probably plenty of people that are coming over here for the first time uh, from all these under other wonderful channels. So I'm really excited to get to, to meet y'all. So, okay, enough of that. As you see here, real quick, after I've already put my little scrappy bow up there in the corner, I'm taking another rub on transfer. This is one that I've picked up. I probably had it from Amazon in a stash from who knows how long. And real simple flower, rubbed it on the middle of that wham bam y'all it's done look how gorgeous this is with that being said you guys i'm gonna let this be the end of y'all getting to hear my voice <laughs> and i'm gonna let you watch the remainder of this last look for this really awesome piece again please do not forget to check out all of my friends and their videos in the playlist below until next time you guys stay safe i love y'all we'll see you on the next one <laughs>